cross-compiling a GD script can be very difficult. Luckily, Godot has a repository with pre-built Docker containers. We can use these containers to build our GD extension for all platforms. I'm going to show you how to build an empty GD extension inside the build containers. Let's begin by cloning the build containers repository. I will now go ahead and clone the Gado CPP repository. The first step would be to build the container images. In the build containers root directory we can run build.sh. When we run build.sh, we will get a usage example. We need to provide a Gado version and a Fedora version. When we run this, we will see that it fails to construct the Mac OS and iOS images. Type podman images to see a list of images on your device. We can verify that macOS and iOS are indeed missing. This is because we need to supply a Xcode development environment. You can download this from Apple's website with a valid Apple ID. Place the Xcode archive in the files directory. When we run the build command again, it will build the Mac OS and iOS images. The images require a lot of disk space and take an eternity to build. We have now built all the container images. We can now create containers using these images. We can create a container with the podman run command. We give it the D flag for running in detached mode. We also give it the ID of the image we want to build in. In this demo I will build for macOS. When we have a running container, we can copy the files we want to build. In our case, that will be the GD extension. I will just copy the whole folder. We can do so with the podman cp. To specify files on the container, you can write the container name, a colon, followed by the file path. The GD extension should now be on the container. We now need to build the GD extension from within the container. We can shell into the container with the podman exec command. We give it the container ID and the command we want to execute. We can see our Godot CPP is here. We can now build it for Mac OS by running scons. However, we might need to specify some platform specific options.
in our case the OS X Cross SDK version defaults to Darwin 16. We have to set this to Darwin 22. If we don't, we can see that we cannot locate the compiler. If we look in our output folder, we can see that we successfully built our GD extension for macOS. You can repeat these steps to build for all platforms. Just remember to set the platform specific options. Here is a list of some example commands for the different platforms. I hope this video was helpful, let me know if you run into problems.